do women date with unrealistic expectations for a man? Kick it off with you, Anton. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you oh, the overwhelming majority of the comments that I see in all of these posts are, <laughs> it's just so funny to me how women can have all of these. Man, I've seen it in church. Women pray for great men with high incomes and all of these extras and all of this stuff. Meanwhile, Junebug over there is right your speed, right? He's right up your lane. He is aligned with you. He sees things the way that you see him, and he's probably the perfect mate for you. But they overlook Junebug in order to advocate for all of these great men and I'm always of the impression that you should be the very thing that you're looking to attract. If you're looking to attract a super bad chick that's incredibly fit, then I think that you should meet that same expectation for what she would also have as far as what she's looking for in a man. And I don't think that, the, I think the thing that me and b Nicks will probably disagree on is that I think that the requirements for what it is that that particular person may be different. So for example, a guy may be looking for a chick that's incredibly fine, right? He wanted her to be a 10 physically, and she may be looking for financial security. So I don't think that it's a one-to-one -one as far as the requirement. I don't think that all women may be necessarily having the highest expectation or the number one thing on a list is the same thing that she represents. It may not be physical, it may be financial, but I do think that women are highly or incredibly out of whack as far as what their expectations of men are. And I know it's some trash dudes out here that's making a lot of us look bad. So for the dudes that's not taking care of their business, for the dude that's always leaving these chicks pregnant and never making, you know, never doing what he's supposed to do, I think we need to hold those dudes to the fire. But that's not the conversation that we have. The conversation that we have in our women, women's expectations. And I think that if you look at all of these things that women expect, it's, it's completely out of whack, 100%. Tawana, do you feel like women have unrealistic expectation when it comes to men? Oh my God, I hate this question, but you know what? <laughs> yes, I guess, yes, we do have unrealistic expectations overall. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I, let me, I, I'll further explain it. I guess women and men, I feel like we are, we think differently. We, we want different things. Um, and so a lot of the times, um, men, we, they don't care what you have, right? You can't like tell men, oh, impress them by your accomplishments. You can't impress, impress them by your credentials. And I think like, a lot of times women, we think about, okay, these are the things that I bring to the table. Like I have a, you know, I have a master's, I got this, I'm this career. And like men are, you know, probably not impressed by that. So then maybe sometimes, you know, those expectations are unrealistic and it could depend on like what experience they've had with men, right? The men that pursue them and how, you know, men are aggressive in their pursuit. Sometimes women feel entitled based on the way men um, pursue them. And so then that can set an unrealistic expectation. And by no means do I think all women have unrealistic expectations. And I think a lot of women, you know, evaluate themselves properly and know how to determine like, okay, you know, this is what I, the type of man that I need in my life. But there are women who have unrealistic expectations overall. Um, and then I just kind of feel like maybe um, we have to be honest with ourselves and think about, um, are we reaching higher than where we currently are? And I'm not saying financially um it could be uh emotionally it could be a lot of different ways like um if you think about what a man the traits that you want in a man to me like if i think about all the things that i want in a man um the things that 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 are desirable to me and then i think about the characteristics that i bring to the table um i guess i i think about it like do i balance this man out is there a balance there, right? Do I enhance his attributes? And I guess a lot of women don't look at it like that. 
so that's where the um, unrealistic expectations come in. And also, um, you know, men are a little bit more physical than us. So if we're looking at, you know, a man who have a PhD or got a, you know, great career or have a six figure, six, six figure salary or higher, um, you know, the type of woman that he's going to be attracted to may not necessarily be connected to any um, attributes or credentials that she has. It could be just physical things, you know, right? So I think that sometimes, you know, as women, it's like, okay, I want this type of man, right? But then, you know, we don't really do the work to make sure that like that's the type of man we attract. We just kind of expect this is what I bring to the table. This type of man is going to come to me. And I don't think that in any way you should do that. But I'm just saying you need to be realistic if that's the type of man that you want. Um, so absolutely. I think that we can have unrealistic expectations. So with this all, uh, it's really about pussy and money, right? So <laughs> you have women that use pussy to say, hey, I got him with sex. And men will sleep with just about anything, right? So here you have this, uh, this woman who's a five, and you have this man that's like a nine or 10. And so her standards are up because she feels as though she used her pussy to be able to, you know, had a luxury of being with this man. But in all reality, like the man don't really want it, he's just using her for sex. <laughs> Thinking about Nick's over there. Thinking about. Uh, I don't know. Um, I got a couple of answers, but I mean, my first thought would be like, it just really comes down to just folks being honest out the gate on what their intent. Hey, is it is about just I'm just trying to smash both for the the man or the woman? Am I really looking for somebody that I want to be serious about? But you know. <laughs> even I know that it's going to be people that disagree, but then it becomes one of those that Anton, like a few months back, we had talked about the dating up and dating down, you know, this then now becomes where there are people who do date. Well, I guess you said it by uh, what women date up and men date down. I think that was your, your statement. You had a few shows back. I'm glad you got that. Yeah. Perfect, fam. I love you. Yeah, I still, I don't live by that creed, but <laughs> since we're speaking for ourselves, but then we still kind of generalize at the same time, there are people that do that. And I, I apologize because the fact that I disputed you down to the end of days is people that don't do that. But the thing is, obviously there are people who do date up. The thing is, to me, I just think there's really about just dating to your expectation. Like if your expectation is just a smash, then you know what? That's who you date. Because the thing is, this is when they all get messed up. People sell dreams and they just trying to smash, but they come in as if I'm the guy that's actually trying to wife you, that I want to be serious. Folks lie. Men lie about how realistic those expectations are. I got a, I got a friend of mine that he, he, something as simple as like, we're talking about credentials like degrees, but he lied about his credit score. <laughs> I really never thought that that was a thing, but guess what? It worked. <laughs> so, so it made it seem like, well, some guys are willing to say whatever they need to do based on the expectations. So I think that really folks need to do maybe a second round of screening of expectations. If you're just trying to smash, you should get somebody and meet expectations of somebody trying to smash. If you're trying to be serious, you need to date somebody that's really serious about being serious. Are you trying to get wife and get married? You need to date some a man that's also interested in getting married. It always gets crazy when people date people with different expectations. I'm saying this, but my actions are, are something different. Mm -hmm. uh, wait, uh, uh, I, I hope I got your name right, right love. Abria? Yeah. Um, she said you got to de define dating, though. And I think that she's right because there's a difference between dating to like dating to find a mate versus dating to just date. Cause a lot of chicks date for a meal. You know what I'm saying? And then there's 
you know, dating, a lot of people are very clear in that they dating to just have sex. How much is that? that she, you have, you said what? I said that meal. How much is that meal? Forty thirty-seven fifty, fam. <laughs> Forty dollars used to be the going rate. It sounds well, like I think like, that's that's where the expectation go. Cause you're right, Anton. But then it becomes one of those like we got different definitions of dating. Cause for me, I'm looking at like, oh, that's talking. If I'm just messing around with multiple people, just something to do, that's talking. If you're dating. Is dating than dating seriously? Because people date more than one partner. Some people believe dating is just one partner. But you don't, so b -Nix, you don't think that people can date and still be going out with multiple partners, though? No, and I, I'm not saying me, that, you, that, that I agree or disagree. I'm just wondering what you thought. I don't know. To me, I always define that that's talking. Because there's multiple people that you're talking to, right? Listen, I, I have a philosophy. I'd love to get JR and Tawana's perspective on this a lot of a lot more in depth before I in depth before I start to dive in because you know once I dive in, I I believe in Roly talk, baby. So look at but I, I believe that's the thing. That should be something folks gotta hash out when you dating. Hey, some people, like you said, they date just for a dinner and they got a different person every day of the week based on what type of dinner. That thirty-seven fifty may go up to like about a hundred if it's a Friday or Saturday night dinner versus That's a Tuesday man. night dinner. With the going rate is like thirty-seven dollars, fam. I just want to know is, if you the guy or you do you want to be the guy that's just the person that's dating just for dinners? It takes two, right? Well, see, that's the thing. Like when you're getting it. Like forty dollars is light. Like if, if the real question becomes, why do chicks only value themselves at forty bucks? Like, it's sh the question shouldn't be referred to from the guy's perspective. The, the all, question should be referred to. Mom, not all. I think it goes both ways, though, brother. I think it's it's it both. It's not it just one. And you know why it don't? In dating, in dating and relationships, it never goes both ways because it always takes two to tango. So just because I offer this thing or I approach you as a woman, it does not mean that you have to accept my offer. You don't have to go out with me. You don't have to accept my thirty-seven fifty as a payment for whatever services that you're about to render at the end of the night. And, and on the flip side, a guy don't have to accept a chick requiring him to take him out, her out to dinner or whatever. In order for him to, in order for her to feel like it's an actual outing or going out on a date, so I would disagree with you only on that point, B. Nixon. That nobody has to accept any circumstance by which they find themselves in on the dating scene. You can very clearly reject or accept whatever the circumstance is that you find yourself in. I kind of want to switch it a little. Okay, bit. agree. Okay. I want to switch it a little bit and talk about women that are successful in the expectations that they have. So one, yeah. being a very successful woman, what expectations uh, would you have for a man, would you say? <laughs> you know, what expectations I have for a man is probably initially, especially in the beginning, it's just like, physical are you you know am I attracted to you physically and do I connect with you like do we have an emotional connection like I think that I'm very simple initially I think yeah after you know a few dates I maybe I'll once I make that decision that it's something more than that maybe I start digging deeper into um you know what types of like how responsible he is maybe possibly thinking about you know what he has like do he have do he own a car do yeah those are the, those are simple i'm gonna ask that question based, <laughs> yeah, on, I don't, based I don't, on the conversations that you had with your friends like what are some of their expectations for a man we're not going no 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 hold on B. hold on jr are you letting her get off too light well i mean she playing light i'm not i don't i don't think she's telling the truth because be, okay so let me re, let me rephrase the question tawana Hypothetically, you're single right now. Take yourself out of any possible relationship that you're in, whatever. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, you know what I'm saying, diving into your own personal business. But hypothetically, hypothetically, just for the sake of this conversation, you're single right now, 2020. 
what's your expectations for a man that you're possibly looking to date? Like, I, be very blunt. I don't know why y'all not listening to me. I like to be attracted to a man physically when I date them. That's so the that, first thing I want to so make sure I'm attracted to them physically. We, and we that can that funny. That could mean he's you know, he, he, there's something that attracts me to them. I don't know, like, everybody's different why I'm attracted to them. But that's the first thing that I look at. Okay, that, we heard that part. We, we listen and we saying, what's the rest of it? That makes him my boyfriend? Or, or no, him that, that makes you want to continue to date him. What's the expectation? Give us the real. We want the real. We don't want to sugarcoat it. We don't want you to be... I'm trying to figure out what else y'all want to know. Like, I don't know what else y'all want to. I mean, I don't know. But Jr. Jr. This is the problem, is because women come into these circumstances and they say they don't know what they want. And so, how are we to go into the circumstance if people are not dating with a purpose? You have to have a clear expectation. You have to know what you want. You have to understand exactly what you're getting yourself into. Otherwise, there can be a miscommunication in there. And then that's what women expect us to be mind readers. We're not mind readers. We're not ventriloquists. We're not none of that, fam. Like, just be straight up, be clear, be upfront of what your expectation is. So then we can both make an informed decision of whether or not we want to go through with this. Otherwise, no, I agree. I agree with that. I think men date with a purpose. I just don't know if it's the same purpose that women may have, you know? And that's where it goes back to expectations, because I'm sure men, they dating, whether it's serious or not serious or talking, whatever, but they coming in with a purpose. Folks got an agenda. You can't, that's just not even with dating in life. You can't live life aimlessly, man. You I just have, can't, or you're going to be burned. Okay, so. I mean, I think you should date aimlessly, though. And then I think what? eventually, I don't know, because I feel like why go into it with this long list of expectations? I think you should develop a connection. Well, with let them. that be the purpose. The if purpose I mean, is that I'm just, I'm just living I'm life freely. Okay, but if I go into it like he, he got to have a master's degree, he got to have this, he got to have a bachelor's degree, he got to talk like this, he got to speak another language, like, I'm not going to give a man a chance instantly. Like, I'm not even going to get to know him and see if it's somebody that I can possibly build with. So I just never have approached relationships like that. That's just me personally. I just like don't that. believe I, that you don't have a minimum requirement for guys that you possibly date. He gotta, gotta be working, I guess. Like, I don't want no money for it. But I yeah. dated a man that didn't drive before, you know? So it's not like I'm saying he gotta have a car. Yeah, so I don't wanna that. be biased. Yeah, but you're not But you're not like, I ain't had no car when you met me, you know? So yeah, I ain't yeah. nothing like- And that's the, I, I think, I think that the overwhelming majority of men have have a clear purpose for why they're dating, and they're and especially today, they're more willing to like upfront give that insight. They more they're more willing to say that guys. I think if you be next, I think I just have a different approach. I don't know. I don't know that's why. Fine. I'm not saying I'm nothing is wrong with it. Yeah. I just I just think that that's a a more accurate reflection reflection of how a lot of women think. B Nix, if you are hypothetically, and again, same thing, I'm not going into what, what your situation is or none of that, but hypothetically, you single right now, 2020, and you on a dating scene, what you looking for, fam? Um, I got two answers. So I would say, like, if I was single right now, I would be trying to find somebody that's be that's able to match my equal, right? So I am looking at somebody that like, hey, that's kind of secure financially, that's looking for a career, somebody that has the same mindset as me. But I would say younger version of me, hey, I'm just trying to kick it. You know what I'm saying? So the thing is, I feel like based on where you at in your life, you date differently. It's like when, <laughs> when you when you got shit, you want to keep shit. So you want to date somebody that also has shit that they want to keep. If you don't got nothing to lose, then you date like that because you really don't care. Because you basically, there are no expectations. If this was me about what, 10, 15 years ago? Yeah, you going in blind like, hey, I'm just out here living. 
So the thing is, I am dating aimlessly. So for me, I think it's really based on where you're at in your life. But your question was, right now, present day, I'm looking for somebody that is engaged into either being or emerging into their career, their passion, and they're able to stand on their own too. I don't, I don't want anybody that's dependent. I, I don't. That's fair. Hey, B. Nix, I think you made a good point about it all depends on where you are. And the question that I asked about the woman that was very successful and the type of men that she is looking to date, I think that they shouldn't date with the standards. They should date with what, with what makes them happy. And I say that because um, a woman that's making a lot of money, she, you know, she has a career going on good. If she's trying to look for that man that has that same career that's doing good for itself, nine times out of 10, he's not checking you. He's not checking you. And I think that a lot of women don't seem to, un to seem to understand that. So that's why I said that they need to date. Hey, with folks got boxing, they weight class. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> same thing. You got to stay in your weight class. It's one of those like, hey, if I'm trying to travel and I'm trying to kick it, I'm not trying to be going somewhere with somebody who don't got their money that can't bring their own bag and we could all kick it. Have you ever been out of town with somebody who don't got their own bag and they struggling? That's obviously not a good time. So that's not, that's not the person that I want to say that I'm trying to deal with and go out of town with. That's by far the worst feeling. So the thing is, I need to date in my weight class. Women expectations. You're talking about women. Like, I understand your message. That's a whole nother topic. I think we probably have to have that, you know, to try to, uh, yeah, to we're going to come for the women. Don't, don't talk about women. <laughs> but see, this is, a, this is a difficult conversation to have because Tawana don't want to divulge her true thoughts and feelings towards, it seems like she don't want to divulge her true thoughts and feelings towards how women think when it comes to the dating process and what their expectations are. So that's why I asked that question about some of your friends. I'm pretty sure you and have conversations. The conversation, the conversations don't have to be recent, but I'm pretty sure you and have conversations with your female friends, and you guys have talked about standards and expectations when it comes to relationships. What are some of those things that you guys discuss? It don't have to be personal from you, but what have you heard? I mean, so careers, um, stability. Some people don't want men with kids. Some of my friends don't mind, but you got to have one, you know, that they can't be this many baby daddies. I mean, some women have very specific things like that they want. And I think my friends, one of my friends who don't have any children didn't want to date a man with children at all. But the reason why I say I don't like to go into it with a lot of expectations is because she went on a date with a guy and he had three children and like they've been together for like three years and like they're about to get married. Like, I think that it's just hard to put like certain expectations on relationships, but I do understand the need for y'all to keep pushing me to be like, this is what I want. This is what I want. Like, obviously there's some things that I, I am going to like require if we're going to take it to that next level and you're going to be, a, you know, in a commitment with me. And I am that person that I'm not going to go into a relationship giving people false expectations of where we're headed. And I think a lot of times people do that. They'd be like, oh yeah, we, we you know, like, I like you for real. And like, really, they really don't like you like that. They dating like three and four other people. I'm just kind of saying, I go into the relationship um, and then I understand like what I need as a, as, as a woman. So I kind of let things play out and I like to observe things for myself. So yeah, if I see a man that's ambitious, that's, you know, that's really attractive to me. If I see a man that, you know, owns his own house, like that's attractive to me. Like there's some things that are attractive to me, but I've also dated men who didn't own their own car, you know, but also I was attracted to them. So, I mean, I, it's hard for me to just be like, oh yeah, but like I said, my friends, yes, they want the man to have a career. They want him to have you know, some of them want him to be educated. Some of them don't mind if he educated as long as he got a career and he making, you know, he, he's, he's self-sufficient. So some women are cool with that. A lot of women, you know, they want them to be entrepreneurs. Not a lot of, some women don't like men who work for, you know, don't have uh, multiple hustles, you know? So yeah, there's a lot of different expectations. And some so of them- Can I, interject? Can I say on, something? B -Nix, B Nix, hold on. I just got a follow-up right. question to what she said. Yeah. Okay, go do ahead. Think, do you think that these expectations that that and take out of take out of the context that they're your friends, 
Do you think yeah. these expectations that they're setting for who it is that they require, do you think that they are deserving of those high quality type guys that they're asking for and why? Some of my friends are, some of them not so much. I mean, most of my friends are, I think that they are women who are very like um, nurturing, very like loyal, very supportive. They will like literally, like I know one of my friends, she's so loyal. She will have your back, like whatever type of thing. And she gives a lot of herself in relationships. So I do feel like some of their expectations are too low. Sometimes that some of them are too superficial and materialistic. Like I do disagree with a lot of the ways they approach relationships. And I tell them all the time. I'm speaking from, a, I've never had issues with dating. Like I've never had it. I, I've always been able to meet people. I've always been able to interact with men. Like I, I know what I want. So, I mean, I'm not saying it from a position of, oh yeah, like I don't date and I've been, you know, like I was single for a couple of years, you know, by choice. That didn't mean I didn't date. You know, I just did, I wasn't seriously in a relationship, you know? So I have friends where I feel like, you know, yes, yeah, some of their expectations may be a little too high. Like, you know, girl, you got this going on. And some of my friends like, but the men that they pick, they get is like, well, that changed my perception of what I thought a man would be, you know, what type of man I thought would be attracted to you versus the man that is attracted to you. So I don't know if I can really put those expectations. I know people feel the need to put this list and okay, this is what I want. And this is how I got to look. And I understand that y'all was kept pressing me to be like, this is what it is. This is what it is. It's got me to a, a it, it, I had to get to this place where I don't have those expectations going into relationships. And I'm okay with that. But it's okay if you know that's your approach. That's all I'm saying. What you you Man, it, this is, sounds way too difficult. <laughs> it really does. Like, this is, you know, when you dating, it's supposed to be like organic, it's supposed to be fun. You getting to know about yourself and knowing about that person. Coming in with expectations, almost if you come in with not the real, the authentic expectations, you're going to get your feelings hurt. You know what I mean? Because you're coming in, you're never going to be satisfied, just to make it clear. When you come in, because no one person, because you're coming in with this idea of a perfect person. They don't exist. There is no perfect person on this earth. But the thing is, it takes away from really getting to know people because you're basically, you coming in like this is a check the box activity. It's like, okay, car, what kind of car? Check. Okay, job, check. Their own home, check. Investment property, check. Um, X amount of dollars in the bank account, check. And the thing is, you know what? As a man, and not, I'm not saying it to you, Tawan, but just listen to this because this is real how some women are. This is why men feel that like we're like a, a transaction. We feel that like it's a transaction engaging with a woman because now we have to take on this role as provider. But guess what? That means I got to do whatever I can to get as much money as I can to spend it to spend it, to take you on the trip, to take you to dinner, to take you out. And the thing is, we already know going into it, the double standard, the guy is going to pay for everything. That's already understood going into it. But also it's this fear where it's like, you're using me. You know what I mean? Because the thing is, we make it one-sided, like us being men saying men aren't transparent or they may sell you a dream or whatever like that. Women are selling dreams too. You know, you're coming in with an expectation. You say this is the expectation, but almost their expectations need to be vetted just as much as men because they're really approaching it like, yeah, I could use this person to get something paid or to have a good time with no long-term intentions or expectations. No one wants I to mean, feel I used. Can, oh, I got I expectations. Say, I can say I went into dates and I haven't paid for like, I can't recall. I was thinking about one of the posts and I was like, I can't recall ever paying for a date. I mean, and that kind of sucks because I think I posted something that was kind of talking about a, a woman who she was like, you know, you, I brought a, a man to go broke data. If your money ain't right, I've never, never, never paid for a date. You know? <laughs> so I guess that's an expectation. Like, I think that dating is an investment. Hey, if you a man, you got to make sure you got your coins already together. If you still working on your shit, hey, you got to be in a different weight class again, man. You got to stay in your weight class taking boyfriends on dates but like you know when you're in that dating phase where you just going out i've never paid for those ever 
Not even one time. I can't even. <laughs> I don't believe oh, I Peyton that. broke. I don't believe in Peyton broke either. I don't. I, I feel like everybody don't got money though. That's the thing. Everybody don't. Peyton. That's the whole idea is that you should be spending so much time focused on building you. You ain't got time to be dating. You don't have time to be focused That's sad. on That's That's so sad, man. That's sad that we at this point where it's like, hey, and the thing is, I may think I have a bag, but it still don't meet the expectation of the person I'm trying to date. That means that you need to align, align your expectations more closely with the class in which you're trying to date in. It's levels to this. It's levels. But you know what? Shit, that means I shouldn't even be married right now then. Because I don't got enough money for this shit either. Nope. That's listen. Once you marry, that's a different dynamic. That's a, no man. It's it's, it's all leads up to the same conversation. Nobody do don't like, got. Nobody's coming out the gate with that type of money. And if they are, it's a transaction. I did. But what was you saying, Tawana? No, I was uh, saying, do men care about class? Because I just see so often where, like, you know, the wealthy men, or even you know the the. The men that I know that's married women, they haven't really married women on the same economic, you know, in the same economic class. As but them. I said they, that in the beginning. I married said that in the beginning. The, thing, the, the things that we focus on, I said it yeah. in the very beginning, the things that we may focus on from a men's perspective, as far as what our requirements are, may be completely different than what women's requirements are. So to be Nix's point, I think that everything is transactional. The problem is that we don't want it to be and we want to make it sound a lot better and put it in a better package in order to make us feel better about what it is that we're doing. However, we're not 22 and 23, fam. Like we are grown, grown. And when it comes to being grown, grown, I think that people need to be very clear about what it is that they're looking and expecting from other people when it comes to dating. I'm not wasting my time. I have a very clear, if, if I was on the market right now, which I wouldn't be hypothetically because my daughter is 12 and I'm not interested in introducing no woman to my daughter. However, if I'm, if I'm on the market hypothetically today and you know my daughter wasn't a factor, I have a very clear picture of what it is that I'm looking for and it very much closely aligns with my level. That's very easy I guess, way to put it. I, I guess what worked for me was like I just like I was just working on myself. Like I was I was in a gym, I was looking my best, I was feeling my best, and I was like attracting the, the people I wanted. That's just what it was. Like I don't know. I'm just being honest. And I know people hate that, but it's just the truth. And what happened? Like I just just started attracting different people based on the stuff that I was doing for myself. Like I was doing, I was working on myself. I was not caring about dating anyone. I was just like, whatever, I'm just trying to get my life together. And, and I'm this with is that. I just I think that both got, especially women, because this is pertaining to women, know your, know your worth. And, that, and when I say know your worth, I'm not building you up all the time. I'm saying that your worth may be a little lower than what you're identifying it as, as far as how awesome you may think you are versus the guy that you're asking to be with. You may not be there yet and you need to date accordingly. There's levels to this and a lot of women have higher expectations than where they're at at the time. And it's funny because again, I take it, I like to always use the whole prayer analogy of women praying for men yo god send me an awesome husband send me this guy or whatever and i'll be thinking i've heard these prayers before fam. and and the first thing that i think about in my mind is why would god punish that man like that like why, why would a god put him in that position to suffer like what this man is I'm awesome that you asking for and he, baby girl like are you really doing a self-evaluation before you you have these Are prayers. You that all women who pray may not necessarily be good. I'm not. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm confused. So she was praying, and she not a good. She don't. She didn't meet the expectations. Maybe she's praying for what she knows that she brings to the table. What you said? She praying. So, I'm just saying, like she need to pray for. She must have look. She was looking. She was looking in one of them uh, carnival funny mirrors when she did her self evaluation. Then because. Why listen, if God loved him too, because God loved 
God loves more than just the person that's praying, right? He may be a spiritual God too. And this is aligned with whatever your spiritual beliefs is. But if God loved him too, why would God put him on punishment like that? Is all I'm saying. <laughs> That's all I'm asking is, is there's levels and we need to be realistic about where we are in life and every aspect and what our expectations is. He, he don't, I don't want God to punish our men like that. I think women need to have better expectations. <laughs> if women, if we really talk about the traits we want and then we think about, okay, this is the type of woman we think this man would want, we have to be realistic about I mean, come on. You, we know, listen, we know that I'm, we know that that guy don't want that chick. Let's be clear. That's true. That's what I'm saying. This Some ain't no mystery. We, like, like I said, we grown. We're not, we not children. We know who we are. We know what we look like. We know what we look like when we take our clothes off and, and get in the mirror. We know what our bank accounts look like. We know what our so personality you is. Know. You know, you, can, you don't know the difference between a salad fork and, and and a steak knife. Like, you know you don't know that. Stop playing these games and let's be honest about who we are so that we can accurate, accurately assess what level of person that this woman deserves. It may not be that guy that God loves. And it, it, it don't go that way. It, it, he, he deserves better. And I'm going to advocate for him. Hey, next. And vice versa. Hey, next, you got something to say on that? Man, shit shouldn't be this damn difficult, man. <laughs> like, this shit is just like, it's sad, man. I said it again. It's sad. Like, it's the fact that you can't even enjoy dating because dating is so convoluted that you can't even date the way you want to date because there's all these rules that go into dating. But the thing is, human nature, we're going to date. It's in, we we are what what I think uh, Anton used to use the term we're hunters as far as men it, it's innate you know women are always want to engage we all have the sense of belongingness Maslow hierarchy of needs we're always gonna want to be with someone so unfortunately this is the the game that everybody's gonna have to play and just hopefully you win the worst thing is playing the game and then. You you don't you don't get the prize. No, the worst thing is to think you got the prize, but you it's too much for you. You bit off more than you can handle and more than you can chew, and now they're gonna find out who the real you is, and it's not gonna last because y'all not equally yoked. And that's what the whole. Hey thing man, is. like hey. When it comes to picking your husband or your partner, though, when you're just dating, see, okay, okay, that that goes back to our conversation of what dating is, because to me that's well, yeah. dating. Dating is like, to me, I'm what I'm thinking about dating, I'm like, y'all want us to come to the conversation like that? But that's, like, dating dating. that's dating with a purpose. That's dating with a purpose. I guess people date with a purpose. Everybody's I, not coming to the table to try to date somebody that they're trying to be that's with that's and right. find it forever. That's right. Everybody's that's not right. trying to find they forever when they date. You know, you know what they dating for? Them. You know what they dating for, B-Nix? They dating for a meal. And they dating for sex. That's what they dating for. A lot of these chicks are very unclear about what it is that they're looking for. And somehow we are supposed to read their minds and figure it out and meet all of these expectations and be Ch Prince Charming and, and also be understanding, have no flaws, have fixed ourselves, have made ourselves the most ideal candidate, already have a career, already be established, and continuing to work on securing more bags so that we can make sure that they're well taken care of. But then they have no expectations for themselves. Now, folks going to drink good now, too. Hey, folks trying to drink that <laughs> in yeah, 1942. Right. Everybody's trying to drink good now, too, man. I, mean, I think you date for, to find a partner. That's my opinion. That, I don't think everybody ain't dating like that. Not for no, not with a purpose. And I just think that sometimes dating just don't work out. Like, you know, sometimes that you it's not going anywhere. But I think initially, you know, the whole. But it don't entire, stop you from going on a date, though. Well, no, you might already be on the date, you know, and you might be like... And you still going to be ordering drinks, and you still going to be ordering you know, food. I, about that. I, I never, you know, paid for a date, so I date that disclaimer already. However, what I'm saying is, you know, I do think that my intention is to find a partner every time I date it. Oh, no. I was like, you know, my intention was well, you to know find what, though? But you know what, though, going back to dating, and I, I'm not trying to be like, like narcissistic about this but i think that also 
there's an aspect where like, and maybe I was one of those, when you date and you pay for something, there's a guy that's also looking at it as a transaction. Like I want something out of this, you know, like everybody don't just date just to spend money on paying for your food. And then I'm going to just drop you off. I feel that men also look at it like, Hey, what I'm getting out of this paid dinner. Cause it didn't cost 37 50. It was actually more like 125. <laughs> Wait a minute. Spending one hundred twenty five with no very yeah, just for day plate. No clear just for day food. with no expectations prior. Yeah. Yeah. You obligated. Cause then guess what? You don't want what? Eat, dude. You can't tell somebody like, oh yeah, you can't. No, I ain't paying for that. It's already out there unless you I put in ground that. rules in place on what they can order. What'd you say, Tawana? Depends on the man. That may not be a lot of money. It ain't a lot of money. That's not the point. I mean, so they might not even look at it like, oh, yeah, that's a lot of money to me. On a, um, a woman. That's what I'm saying. But some men, it might not be. It ain't a lot of money. But it, listen, the whole it thing, is. it's the principle. Oh, Brent, it Brent is a lot of money. It's the Brent, told me to step, Brent told me to step my game up, my dating game up. <laughs> listen, it's the principle, fam. And I'm not. I'm, I'm just very clear. I'm very blunt on what this is and what my expectations are. When I come through, this is what I'm looking for. Not only that, this is the type of woman that I want to be picking up. I'm not playing no games. I'm not playing no games, fam. Hey, you guys, I want to close it out with this question. Um, is it more important? I can't hear. You can't hear? What about? Yeah, I can't hear you either. Like, I, it was my internet was going in and out. Nick, you're an asshole. You know that. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole reason why I'm still on the show. <laughs> hey, uh, I, I kind of want to end it up on this questions right here. Um, is it more important to date with standards or to date with who makes us happy? To why? Is it more important today with standards or who makes us happy? I always date who makes me happy. Um, I do think that, you know, some people, like, I, I know I should be different. Like, okay, I should date people and I should have expectations. But I always date who makes me happy because in the long run, I just found, like, I'm happier that way. Um, when I have standards and when I have expectations, like I marry people for the wrong reasons or I got into relationships for the wrong reasons. And like, I just never want to do that again. So ultimately I want to like have someone that I feel like me and him can build and we got a good foundation and like everything else to me always like falls in place. And, and that's just my uh, personal experience with, with dating and, and relationships. But um, to me, it's more important to be happy. Anton, is it more important to date with standards or to date with whoever makes us happy? It's always more important to date with standards. And the thing about happiness that people don't understand is that happiness is subjective. It can change from day to day. We grow. I'm not the same person I was 10 years ago. I'm not the same person I was yesterday in a lot of instances according to the things that I've learned and I've evolved into today. So the thing that makes you happy today is not the thing that's going to keep you tomorrow. When I'm focused on a relationship, I'm focused on a thing that I can grow into. I always felt like growth was more important than happiness because happiness is subjective. I know people that's as happy as ever and combined, they only make $40,000 a year. And that's cool. And that's dope. And I have no problems with that. My thing is, is that for the sake of this conversation, for me, I feel like standards set the foundation by which this relationship can go into. So if I'm looking at the standard by which I choose my mate, I'm evaluating how me and this person can grow, how we can move in a certain direction. Do she got my back? Do she have this certain quality? Are these qualities more important to her than these qualities? Because that's more of a, that's a better evaluation for how successful we can be in this relationship versus how happy this person makes me because this person can make me happy in a general sense but then i grow into a different space or i'm looking to go to another level and they not they not meeting that expectation long term and i think that a lot of times women find themselves 
in relationships. And that's why women choose bad boys, bad guys, because they so focused on the moment. They focused on the thing that's making them happy right now. Instead of, instead of looking at the potential and the standards by which that guy that they should be eyeing is presenting. So I'm always of the impression that standards is 10 times more important, 100 times more important than happiness because happiness is subjective. Phoenix, is it more important to date with standards or to date with someone who makes you happy? You know what, Anton, I really always want us to come together sometimes and agree on something, but a, I, I feel a lot better spending my money if it's somebody that I just feel good being around. I do. Hey, that, that 150 don't feel that bad if I love your company. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get standards, and I know I mentioned about the transaction, but to me, though, that's the thing about dating I don't like. It shouldn't be a transaction. For me, if I'm feeling you, we feeling each other, we having a good time, hell, I might smoke, and I don't even smoke, but we're going to do whatever – because the thing is, I feel good about the experience. And the thing is, I get standards, nothing against that. But you know what? I almost feel that taking it up a notch with not just dating serious, but we could say dating serious and also people that are married, they marry or date serious based on the standard instead of how they feel about the person and then they end up leaving the person or cheating on the person with someone that they feel good being with. So the thing yeah. is, I really feel that you got to go with your gut. You, a lot of times, you got to go with how you feel. Feelings are real. You can't suppress it. So the thing is, I joked about it earlier about the Maslow hierarchy of needs. We all have a feeling the need to belong. I want to feel the need to belong and feel good with being in somebody's company. So the thing is, that's the person I'm going with and not even younger me, current me or future me. I still feel good hanging my hat on the fact that like, hey, I lived, I loved, I enjoyed the company of this person. And if the shit wasn't meant to be, so be it. But at least I know that I enjoyed those moments versus being in a relationship based on the standard of an expectation that I am trying to make myself enjoy but at the end of the day the standard doesn't really it doesn't really fit me be next but the, the feelings in a relationship because of the Phoenix, standard people play the Phoenix, feelings are temporary and i think my thing my thing becomes again so like for example one of the things that you said is you know it made me feel good or whatever blah 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 and if it don't last but see that's the difference is that everything has to last and when i take these vials and i say yo it's till death do us part it's a forever thing so i'm looking at the person that i can grow with not somebody that temporarily satisfies me for that moment because if it's all about happiness then i'm saying that everybody should just focus on what the sex is like versus focusing on the thing that is going to, going to sustain us and and the and the levels in which or the 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 standards by which we want to raise our sons and our daughters and how we want to build our communities, all those things are based off a foundation of standards. It's well, not I feel like there's an evolution, though. I feel there's an evolution where the thing is, is like, yeah, I think that if you really feel in somebody and the feelings are mutual, you all do build together. But the thing is, I don't think you would make it to marriage if it's just based on just solely feelings and really every, the house is burning. Everything is a dumpster fire, but really I just feel good about being with this person in this dumpster fire. But if fire. you don't make it to it marriage, will yourself out. but if you don't make it to marriage, then that means that that's not the person that you were supposed to be with in the first place. And I'm okay with that. Me too. But my point is, is that I'd rather found, find out that this is the person that I'm not supposed to be with early. And then we can establish whatever that is in that moment, like, okay, this is just the thing. This is not forever. I rather find out that this is the person I'm not supposed to be with early by not making happiness the primary goal than find out later in life when this person has wasted an infinite amount of my time and time is the most valuable thing to me in life. Because I can never get okay. that. I hear you. I'm still going with feelings, though. No, I, and I, I know it's kind of surface level I, I, for you, I, I, but... I, I respect that. I don't have no uh, no disagreement with what you're saying. I respect what you're saying. I think that like when I did when I did like do get married, I did it because everybody was like, "You should be married." 
that's what you need to do. And like you pregnant and like this was the whole thing. And like, it was all about the standards that other people placed on my relationship or my expectation. And it, it had nothing to do with just like love. Like I wasn't like, oh yeah, like I love him. I want to get married. It was more so like, this is like, I'm, I'm pregnant. And I like, I don't want my kid to be, you know, uh, uh, born to a unmarried woman. And like my family, everybody had these expectations of me. And so I just felt like I will never get married for those reasons again. Like not even just that specific reason, but just because of a standard that's placed on it. And I just want to be confident in like, the, me and you, we love, we like, we, we, we loyal to each other. We care about each other. We for real are happy with each other. And I want to hang my hat on that, like B. Nick said, versus me just like knowing that I married him because of the things that he brought to the table. Because I feel like circumstances can change. And if his circumstance change, I want to be still able to look at this person and be like, I, I like, I want to be here and I'm going to have your back regardless of whether you're on top or you're not. Like, but I'm, that's I'm of happiness, Tawana. Because but we go through I, lots of moments of unhappiness within relationships, whether you're married or not. Yeah. No, I agree. I agree with you. I mean, I, I think I understand where you're coming from. I guess I just don't want to pick standard. So happiness was the only other option. Yeah. <laughs> but I, yeah. I do. Yeah. It's like that's the I, yeah. I, I, I don't I don't want to pick standards, you know. So I guess that that leaves me with the happiness. <laughs> yeah. And next, what are you gonna say? Hey, I mean, I, I don't get me wrong. I mean, we all got standards. I mean, if anything, it could be both. But the way, you know, you presented the question to us, I got to roll with just, you know, what I would lead with first, just going with my gut. I got to go with feelings, man. Like, at the end of the day, like, I, <laughs> you know, like I mentioned, hey, I don't got no money like that. Or I, I don't think I do. And if even when I didn't, I still feel good being with that person based on, on, on the, the, the feeling, something that's natural, something that's real, not this, this standard or this expectation. Because to me, it's a lot of people right now that's, in, that's dating people based on an expectation, but they're not really happy, man. And that's where I think the transaction bothers me because to me, it, it, it lends its hand to that transactional feeling. I don't want shit to be transactional. Like if I'm with somebody, I at least want that feeling that feeling that we all have that we know that I cannot reproduce with somebody else. I so can't what, replicate that feeling except with this one person. So B Nix, you said you don't want the feeling of it feeling transactional. So are you are you saying that you just don't want it to feel that way, but you understand that relationships are transactional? Or are you like, <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, because I just I have a hard time believing that you don't believe that relationships are transactional um i mean there are transactions but i don't think that's the priority or the focal point of my she marriage need you, for something. So. you need her for something we feel like we can be better as a result of it that's a transaction it is but we wouldn't have got to this point if it wasn't about feelings though we would have never met or we would have never continued to date Wow, that's impressive. You're a better man than me. Whatever. I guess we just agree to disagree once again, you know. <laughs> hey, that's been, right. That's been the saying all night, right? <laughs> man, it's, it's like this every fucking show, man. With y'all too, man. That's because b is so cool. focused on trying to become the mayor of Chicago instead of being honest about uh, what it really is. Nah, I mean, you're the only person I rock with on the show, low key. And I'm focused on giving... <laughs> Giving people the honest to God truth in order to help them become the best version of yourself. Hey, what about your boy? And that's what I think I'm doing. Yeah, I mean, I guess I think and, people are not open to that, but that's why we have different perspectives on the show. People and, uh, need to know everybody's opinion. You give us your opinion and you give us your truth and you try to influence us. You are an influencer and you try to influence us on your and truth. You are, I'm a, I'm a you're already a fool, they are. You, uh, Jr. Uh, they are, is under your influence. They are understand. He have a, he have a lot of people feeling like, like they. Own, have my own opinions, man. I have my own opinions. I just, I just, I just listen to both sides. I just listen to so both. Tawana, sides. Tawana, Tawana, look me in my eyes. Look me in my eyes. I got you. I'm right here. 
Because in your screen, I might be in a different square than you are. Uh -huh. in I'm looking in your eyes. Okay, so in look your at my eyes. Hey, Crawford, just make your point, bro. Because no, no, unfortunately, no. we're all going to look in your eyes. This so just make your point. That, this is a moment that me and Tawana are having. Tawana, look me in my eyes, and you're trying to tell me. you trying to tell me that I don't make people's lives, including your own, better? Is that what you're trying no. to tell me? No, you definitely don't make my life better, but I yeah, do bro, think you're, you're, you're an irritant. Okay. That's what you yeah, are. Man. All, I think, all I think is that you try to manipulate people to think the way you think. And that's cool, but I just feel like there's other ways to be. And I think <laughs> that people need to expect, you know, accept that there's other ways to be. I'm not easily influenced. And so I'm not, you know, hating on the people who are. Well, and listen, if you think that you, you, see, life, you, you, you are an influencer. Like, you life should be your life too. I, just, well, see, I can see Anton getting it's his own spinoff. I Tawana, can see him getting his own spin-off without Mia Tawana, and he mess around and have his own show by himself with Jabari being the MC. Show. 